Lee Baker addressing the public from the State House earlier today, providing a winter storm update alongside MEMA and state transportation officials. Western Mass News meteorologist Lena Joukowsky has more on his message to Bay Staters. Their unified message was very clear. Stay home if you can. This is obviously our second major storm of the season. We're used to dealing with snow this time of year, but it's important for folks to take this one seriously due to the heavy snowfall, the high winds, and the speed with which a lot of this snow is going to fall when it starts to come down. Utility companies and road crews are prepared and ready to take action while heeding safety precautions themselves. Mass DOT has approximately 3,900 pieces of state and vendor equipment available for snow and ice operations, and this includes over 1,400 plows and spreader combos, 2,100 plows, and 460 front-end loaders. Locally, power outages are expected to be isolated, but they may take time to restore. And with such a long-lived storm system, road cleanups will likely extend into Tuesday evening. I think the western part of the state, which is very well prepared to move snow in great amounts, will probably clean up pretty fast. I would expect that by tomorrow night, most parts of Massachusetts are going to be in pretty good shape. Despite all these factors and the large snow projections, the governor says that the pandemic snowfall offers some positives. It's a very different kind of logistics exercise than it would be um, under what we think of as, as sort of pre-pandemic um, circumstances. The fact that so many people have the ability or have been primarily working remotely for a long period of time means one of the things you worry about the most, which is everybody deciding to go home from work at exactly the same time all the plows hit the streets, is just really not the kind of concern it would traditionally be. For Western Mass News, I'm first warning meteorologist Lena Joukowsky.